A friend to everybody is a friend to none. That she is with who that man she is with. Simon probably been priced it up. I'm gonna be 42. But is it your loyalty? You can't do that thing real like macaron. Hey y'all. I'm fresh off the cheese wagon. Y'all already know the vibes when you see this white shirt. You already know your girl is fresh off the cheese wagon. What's going on? What y'all doing? What y'all been up to, honey? Because today is Wednesday, and I have really been trying to get things together for what? Your girl birthday. That's right. Next week, Thursday, a queen was born. Or should I say a diva was born? <laughs> Anyhow, yes, ladies, I have been on all these little different websites. You know what? I hate to say this, but I ordered from Shein, and it was my first time ever ordering. I'm an Amazon person, because I feel like with Amazon, to return is very simple and easy, and I just been, and plus, I am a whole Amazon influencer, so I will be putting my storefront and the bottom of my description so y'all can check out my store friends try to start you know ordering a couple little things on there you know help your girl get get a coin to sew but i really like she in like oh my god i've been missing out my daughter she loves all these different websites i don't like putting my credit card my debit card in these little websites because i be thinking you know it's something's gonna happen so i'll just be like very 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 strict about that but i'm like I want to go ahead and order something a little spicy, something to spice it up. I'm going to be 42. So I'm like, I am not going to be walking around here like no old crew for my birthday. So I want to spice it up, but at least, you know, keep it classy. I'm keeping it classy, but I am keeping a little sexy, honey. So yes, I ordered me an order from there. I will be showing y'all what I ordered too, honey. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I picked a lot of little different little here's and there's little type of things. I ordered myself. And guess what I did too? You see it? You see my little Stanley Cup shine? I've been rocking my Stanley Cup. Y'all saw earlier I went and purchased it, but I actually took it to work today. And it, I am so happy I did because it is hot. It is now 87 degrees here. And girl, shine, getting off that bus in this car. And I ended up leaving my cup in the car and I, my ice has melted, but I had the ice in here ever since this morning. But my my water is so good. And let me tell y'all something else too what I've been doing lately. I actually, I've been doing this for the last what, week, last week and half of this week. So I see everybody's all caught up in this little thing. Now they're putting okra, they're drinking okra water. I guess for all the health benefits and you know the young girls always trying to say they little stuff be wet wet but anyway they been drinking um and it's old school because my grandma drank aloe water for years she always kept some aloe water in the back of her refrigerator that's an old school thing but now everybody now is starting to drink Oprah water so I was like okay I may try it whatever but I like something when I'm drinking me some water I want to relax in like a cool minty so, child, I've been putting me some mint leaves in my water. And it is so refreshing. Like, I feel like I'm um, not just drinking water, but I feel like a little fancy. So, and it helps because I'm going to tell you something. Lately, I've been going to the bathroom. I've been doing a number. And I feel a different. I feel different. It helps with the bloating. I've been wearing my Faja again. And um, I'm starting to see like a transformation. Like I'm not losing weight, but I'm starting to back. I'm starting to get it more tighter how it used to be. And I will. I don't. I, I don't want to jump and say it's the the limit. I mean, not the limit. The mint water, but honey, I've been been feeling very light. So anyway, y'all may want to check that out. That's a little health benefit. It's good for the bloatiness. They said it's good for hydration. It's also good for breath, honey, because you got mint in your water. So, you know, when you're talking, you're mint. So, and it helps curb my appetite. I'm starting to notice, too, because usually around a certain time of the day, I'm starving. 
But lately I've been okay because I guess I'm drinking more water too. So I'm not, the water is helping me keep myself full. So that's a good thing. That's a plus. So y'all check out all these new things that they got going on for your health. Mint water, aloe water, and that okra water. Because they say that okra water keep that thing real like macaroni. But anyway, child, um, yeah, that's all what I've been going, I've been doing. Um, how do y'all feel about this Porsche and Nini little little thing they got going on? I only want to say it's an argument because Porsche haven't really did too much, but she did too much. You know, check the back history. Y'all know how Nini and Portia made up. She was her big sister, little sister type of vibe. Now Portia is they Nini is claiming Portia ended up trying to stop her back. Cause they was gonna be on a show together, but uh, Portia declined to work on the show with Nene because of Nene, she's not a good look for her. You already know how Portia is. Portia wants to have all the spotlight, but I understand because I feel like Portia listens to her publicists as well as those people over there at Bravo. They don't want nothing to do with Nene, not nothing. So Portia was in her bag. She just was like, I don't want, I don't want no parts to me because at the end of the day, I have to go back to Bravo and my real bag is at Housewives because you know she back on there. So she is not trying to be dealing with Nene on no type of level. And there go Nene with her petty Sagittarius ass. You know Nene is a, a whole sag. She know went for the whole goddamn gone situation with Portia and her husband Simon. Now posted the pictures, girl. Nene now went out with Simon and her old, her married husband, boyfriend, whoever the man is, Yoni. And Simon ain't even divorced yet. Freshly ain't signed no paperwork or nothing. They out dating. Well, he's out dating and gallivanting around Georgia with him and another little, little PYT child. And Nene is out with them. And don't post a picture on social media. I know y'all seen it. It's going around. But I'm going to tell you my how I feel about it. I'm giving y'all the breakdown. But I'm going to get a specs on how I feel about it. It's not right. Yeah. Everything is off limits when it comes down to someone's marriage. Especially if you was that person's friend. And you not went to their wedding. You not sat around with them. You not had functions with them. They not been to your house. They know your kids. Certain things I do not condone. Nene, you're wrong. I understand you may feel Portia was wrong, but she ain't stop your back because you still did the show. From what I hear, I don't know. But at the end of the day, you know when posted a picture with her, her, her not even her ex-husband, it's still her husband. Her separated husband with his new side piece. That means you been knew something was going on. You been, I felt like when a woman do mess like that, they already be on the ups and ups with the next chick anyway who that man cheating with. Simon probably been with that woman and Portia been knew that Simon was gallivating around with this woman and Nene just was like, okay, whatever, I already know. So now it's open, y'all separated. Why not? Let's go to lunch. Let's go to dinner. Let's go to brunch. You know how Nene is. That was a perfect opportunity for her to come out, to come out, out of nowhere with that mess. Nene wrong. Nene is nobody's friend. A friend. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I, I heard this before. And I, I always be playing my mind about a, about people. A friend to everybody is a friend to none. The only friend they is to is themselves. Me, uh-uh. I'm that person when my friend, I have a best friend. I've been best friends with her since third grade, first grade, or whatever. We grown. No, we don't talk every day on the phone. But she went through a situation. And she was married. And when she got divorced with that man I got divorced with him too like I don't know him who the only reason I know him is because she had a son with this man so I respect him but at the same time I'm not gonna be talking to him going out with him like I don't know you like that I owe you no type of loyalty my loyalty falls with my friends meanwhile that's how Nene should have been her loyalty should have went with Portia because she know Portia longer. They not being on. I'm pretty sure they not share some intimate conversations. Nene is really showing her ass out here in these streets. For her to be so old is be not wise at all. If anything, she should have been trying to be back be good friends with little sister Portia so Portia can help her get back on that damn show. 
but instead you want to have a turn up life like you got it going on with Yoni, the Yoni man who's still married. You, you, you're playing yourself. I know Greg, I, I know your late husband Greg is turning over in his grave. It's sad. It shows to me Greg really had a lot mentoring over Nene because Nene ain't, ain't right. Uh uh uh. That household, Greg knew his wife, and Greg kept her on the up and up because Nene be doing some foul shit behind the, behind the scenes. I see it. She can talk all that stuff she talk on her YouTube channel, but it's just your loyalty. You can't be loyal to these men. And what happened to sisterhood? What happened to sister empowerment? Child, please. And Portia, you ain't right either because you do some sneaky stuff. But I'm just saying, we're, we're speaking on y'all marriage and how certain things when yo when you divorce a person and your home girl your home girl you supposed to be on your home girl side i don't care what they say because if you my friend i'm gonna be down with you i'm gonna be stocking the house with you if you want to do a drive by to see where he at girl where you at let's, let's pull up who what happened now one thing i'm not going to do i don't i'm not gonna help you cheat hell no people get killed for that don't put me in your, your, your BS when you're trying to cheat with your on your dude. Don't say, hey, I'm going to give so-and-so. I don't do that because I'm a married woman. And before that, I was a never involved with that type of stuff. I always told my homegirls, listen, child, you don't want to let it go. Don't be trying to cheat on nobody, honey, because it's AIDS out here. I'm, I'm sorry. It's HIV out here. I can't say certain things. I don't want my little, my little bit of channel to get shut down. But, you know, it's all type of diseases and stuff out here, man. Life too short. I done experienced some things in my life as well as I done had some things that happened, but we'll talk about that later because I done had a relative. I done had some things that I would like to talk about, but not right now. That's why I don't do the cheating stuff. I don't condone it. We all grown. At the end of the day, when it, when, it, when everything pours down to it, you got to look in your and just look in the mirror and see your face. And if you good by looking in your mirror and seeing what you see, then hey, that's on you, but don't involve me. Me, me, you're wrong. Me, me, dead wrong. And if if I was to ever come across Nene and, and, and tell her how I feel, I would tell her that Nene, you did wrong one. All because Yoni is good friends with Simon. Okay, Yoni, you go out with your homeboy right now. I got something to do. I'm going to wrap something up real quick. I got to go have a dinner date with someone. So I'm going to let you have that because your homeboy, he needs some type of, he need a man, he need a bro right now. He don't need no female company right now. That's all. That's all that's it. Respect, respect, respect goes a very long way. Respect, cause now you out here looking, Nini, you out here looking crazy to a lot of people. A lot of people don't only want to deal with you on certain levels because how you move. That one picture, that one picture probably not cost you a lot. People sign, what they say, you got me looking at you sideways. That's what not happened to you, Nini. Nini. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hate to say it. How you want to retaliate, sometimes the retaliation, it backfired on you. Because you just showed your face. You just played your card. You just showed who you really are. Because what they say, what's in your heart, is eventually going to show. And you showing that boom. But anyway, y'all, I'm talking and talking and talking. I done talked so much throughout this vlog. This vlog is over officially. My next vlog, y'all stay tuned because I'm be doing a try haul. I'm going to also be showing my birthday gifts. I may, I may show what I purchased for myself because I've been buying my little self like here and there little things because people don't buy gifts no more for you, child. When they do, they be like, they, you know. Speaking of gifts, I got an Aries sister. I know she probably wouldn't watch this video, but hey, boo, how you doing? My Aries sister. She texted me. She was like, sis, we should exchange gifts. I don't exchange gifts. I'm not no cheap person, but at the same time, I be feeling like I don't want to get the person the wrong thing, and then I had their hopes up high, and then they be looking at me like, oh, girl, she tried me with this little trinky, cheeky little gift. So I don't want to do that. Like I told her, I texted her back. I was like, girl, you too expensive for me. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know about that. Oh, excuse me. She was like, girl, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm like, okay. So now my bougie sister, every sister, I got to go out and find her a gift under $100. Maybe I may go over. You never know because she has really been, we argue. One thing about me and her, me and her, we, we debate a lot. So I really enjoy her. 
as the um my Aries sister and her company. Like she's up, she's just so fun. One day, hopefully, she can join me. Y'all can wit, y'all can witness how me and her be, you know, vibing or whatever. But now I gotta go to probably Saks or Bloomingdale's. Don't get me wrong, now I'm that girl too, but. I gotta keep it to a, a limit because I got small kids. Like all her kids pretty much grown or whatever. But shy, I, I, I gotta see how this gonna work because you know I like me a little designer too. But yeah, we gonna see. I'm gonna bless my friend with something nice. But yeah, y'all, um, check out my next vlog. I will be posting that probably next week or so because i'm trying to do at least two vlogs a week but how things has been i can't do it i can't do it but it's coming y'all I'm, I'm being i'm being very consistent with my posting on all my social media platforms i have those posted in the bottom in my description as well y'all can follow me on there and y'all y'all come back girl i got so much to talk about all right y'all Time.